I'll have you with this bear. Look at him, look at him. Look at the doggy, look at the doggy, look at him, look at him. everybody this is Jake here and today it's time for apple butter part two yes that's right apple butter part two is finally right here you're watching it it's gonna be awesome let's hold up now before I get some apple butter I woke up that too long ago and I'm thirsty so you know what we got to do you gotta get some of this gold peak tea the best freaking tea you can ever get that's right gold peak tea my favorite Let's watch what we do to this. Yeah, that's right. Look at that label. That's a good label. Now, this is what you gotta do. You gotta crack a cold one. Yeah, crack it. Yeah. You gotta throw the bottle cap. You gotta be mad about it. That's right. <laughs> some more left. It's cold. It's a cold one. It's a real cold one. Man. Ah, oh, it's gone now. Oh. We're gonna get into the fridge and you guess it. Pull out the Wisconsin apple butter. It's right here next to the good old frick man! It's right next to the good old Dr. Pepper that I just knocked down. Now it's probably gonna explode. Anyways, like I was saying, we're gonna get this Rose Cottage apple butter from Wisconsin. Yeah, look at that. Rose Cottage, whatever that crap is. And I got some log cabins up in there. It got, it got some nice little art, you know? Like that looks really pretty. Good job. Good job. Good job! Place it on the red cloth. We whip out the plates. Yeah, come on now. Woohoo, yeah, good plate. You know what's funny? It kind of matches the apple butter can. Look at that. It's all about that it matches. It makes the food taste better. Pepperidge Farm Swirl. Cinnamon. We gotta get this crap right here too and just, yeah, flop it on the table like that. All right, now we're gonna pop this sucker right on open. Yeah, and also we're gonna smell it too. Whoa, baby! That stuff smells really good! Yeah! Smells like good old apple butter. That ugh, Apple butter. That didn't really come out of my mouth right. But yeah. I'm gonna make sure that you guys get your dose of apple butter by telling you to buy it at the store. It's good stuff. Alright, mateys. Look what else we got. We got the good old Pepperidge Farms to Whirl Cinnamon. I'm gonna take that this stupid thing right off um, yeah I'm gonna open it and we're gonna smell this too uh, smells like bread um, now we're gonna take the plastic off like usual and this top part I'm, I'm just gonna eat later um, yeah get you two pieces of bread and if you guess it we're gonna make an apple butter sandwich oh guess what we forgot the spoon Gotta get the freaking spoon, man! Come on! Stupid drawer. Yeah, there we go. That's a fork! Oh man, here. Yeah, there we go. That's a good spoon. Man. You gotta remember to spoon your bread. Spoon your bread. Always spoon your bread. It's the secret recipe to the good apple butter sandwich. You also have to spoon the top part of the leg because it makes kind of a cool sound. Yeah. Make a drum beat out of that. So now again, we pop this sucker open. Ah, smells so good, man. You don't know how excited I am to try this good old Wisconsin apple butter. So, yeah. As what you do in the first video, 
you take a spoonful of this stuff, you put it on one piece of bread. Um, that's 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 not enough. You gotta make sure that the camera can get this stuff too. Okay. You get you get some more. Yeah. Then you put more on there. You, you got you, you have to load the bread. There's no excuse to not loading the bread. You have to load it. It has to be seeping out of the sides. It doesn't matter. Use the apple butter, or so they expire. Oh, I can smell from here too. All right. Yeah, you put a little bit more on there. To what makes you happy, and a lot makes me happy. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and also lick the spoon. Mm. Mm. I just tried it. I just tried it. It's really good. It's really good, man. It's really good. Now. Um, as always, in the sandwich process, you gotta put your other piece right on there. And spoon the bread again. Um, you gotta close the cap, make sure you twist it. Yeah. I just hit my elbow on that, it really hurt. Ouch! And anyways, yeah. Now we got your apple butter sandwich. Let's try this sucker out. Uh. Mmm. Mm. This is the stuff. This is the stuff to eat instead of that. What's it called? Um, a crappy PB and J stuff, you know, with the peanut butter and the jelly. That stuff. It's worthless. Eat this instead. It's honestly probably healthier. And butter kind of sucks. Peanut butter kind of sucks. But apple butter doesn't suck. It's really good stuff. I have to tell you the origin story of my experience with apple butter. Now, I thought apple butter was like peanut butter, but it was apple flavored. Then when I got it at the store, it just blew my whole mind. It's like a thick applesauce. It tastes really good. And I can eat this stuff all day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our apple butter experience part two. And if you, if you like this video, then please like it if you want. I don't care if you don't, but if you want to, it helps me out a lot and it means a lot to me. So if you guys want to, leave a comment on other types of apple butter that I should try because I've only tried two kinds of apple butter. I know that there's an Amish kind that my best friend dropped and broke that I never got to try yet. But um, so I, I might have to make that one part three if I ever get a hold of it somewhere. But yeah. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in Apple Butter Part 3 one day. Drive safe, everybody. Have fun.